greatest mystery in our skies just got stranger. Howard's top scientist saying it could be a nuclear-powered alien craft. An object the size of Manhattan Island is moving through our solar system, and it's not following the rules. This interstellar traveler, 3i Atlas, is so massive and acting so strangely that a world-renowned Harvard scientist has fired off a formal warning to the United Nations. Some people think that this could be an alien ship. Well, it's a possibility, and I uh, define the scale where zero means it's a natural object and 10 means that it's a technological object uh, that poses a potential threat uh, to humanity. He's talking about a potential threat unlike anything humanity has ever faced. You see, the most shocking fact is that this object is about to pass behind the sun, hidden from our view, at the perfect time to change its course. What happens on the other side could change our world forever. A rock that isn't a rock. Something massive is visiting our solar system, and to put it mildly, it's not behaving like a guest should. This isn't some far-off theory. It's a real object, tracked by hundreds of observatories, and it has one of the world's top physicists, Dr. Avi Loeb of Harvard University, deeply concerned. The object is named 3i Atlas, and the I stands for interstellar, meaning it came from outside our solar system. You see, while we've seen visitors before, we've never seen anything like this. The story starts with its movement. Astronomers compiled 4,000 observations from 227 observatories across the globe. They tracked its path with incredible precision. What they found was a complete shock. The object did not deviate at all from a path dictated purely by gravity. Now that might sound normal, but for 3i Atlas it's impossible. We know for a fact, thanks to crystal clear images from the Hubble Space Telescope, that this object is shedding an unbelievable amount of mass. It's losing about 150 kilograms, that's over 300 pounds, every single second. This isn't just a little dust, it's a torrent of material blasting off its surface pushed away by the sun's heat. Basic physics, the kind Newton taught us, says that if you shoot mass in one direction, you get a push in the opposite direction. It's a rocket engine. This constant outgassing should be acting like a thruster, gently nudging 3i Atlas off its gravitational path. But it isn't. The object is so steadfast on its course, it's as if this massive force doesn't even exist. For that to be true, Dr. Loeb calculated that the object has to be unbelievably massive. His numbers show it must weigh more than 33 billion tons. Let that sink in. That's a lower limit. To give you some perspective, that's heavier than over 400 of the largest aircraft carriers in the world combined. At a normal, solid density, an object that heavy would have to be at least 5 kilometers, or about 3 miles wide. That is roughly the width of Manhattan Island. What many overlooked is that this makes it at least a thousand times more massive than the last major interstellar object we saw, a visitor named Borisov, which was only about the size of two football fields. This raises a huge question. If there are city-sized objects like 3i Atlas out there, why haven't we seen a thousand of the smaller football field-sized ones first? The math just doesn't add up. But not all things are what they seem, and the weirdness doesn't stop with its size. The Hubble telescope also saw something that no one has ever seen on a comet before. Comets always have tails that point away from the sun as solar wind pushes dust and gas backward. For months, however, 3i Atlas had a bizarre glow that extended towards the sun. It was 10 times longer than it was wide. Dr. Loeb describes it perfectly. It's like seeing a cat with a tail coming from its forehead. Everyone wants to call it a street cat, but the evidence says otherwise. This isn't just an oddity. It changes everything about how we understand this object. But the physical anomalies are just the beginning of this deep mystery. A message from the stars? Many people are crazy about finding proof of extraterrestrial life, and they often look for signals. The thing nobody tells you is that maybe the proof isn't a signal, but a physical object. The case for 3i Atlas being something other than a natural object gets stranger when you look at what it's made of. Reports from spectral analysis, a way of seeing what an object is made of by looking at the light it reflects and emits, found something truly bizarre in the cloud of debris surrounding 3i Atlas. They found evidence of nickel, 
Nickel itself isn't totally unheard of in space rocks, but what was missing is the key. There was no significant trace of its usual companion, iron. You see, in nature, especially in comets and asteroids, nickel and iron almost always come together in similar amounts. They are cosmic brothers. Finding a huge amount of nickel without a matching amount of iron is, to put it lightly, a massive red flag for astronomers. It's like finding a beach with no sand, only seashells. It just doesn't happen naturally. So where do you find lots of nickel without iron? One place, in highly specialized industrial manufacturing here on Earth. Nickel alloys are critical for modern technology, used in everything from electronics to spacecraft. The presence of this lonely nickel strongly suggests that the material being shed by 3i Atlas might not be from a rock, but from a piece of manufactured technology. As if a city-sized object shedding industrial metals wasn't enough, there's another layer to this mystery that connects 3i Atlas to one of the most famous unexplained events in the history of astronomy. On August 15, 1977, an Ohio observatory picked up an incredibly strong, narrow band radio signal that lasted for 72 seconds. It was so powerful and so clearly artificial that the astronomer who found it, Jerry Ammon, circled the data and wrote one word. Wow. It became known as the wow signal. It was definitely extraterrestrial, but it never repeated, and its origin remains a total mystery. Dr. Loeb, looking into the origins of 3i Atlas, made a jaw-dropping discovery. He traced the object's path backward, out of our solar system and into deep space. The direction from which 3i Atlas came is the exact same region of the sky as the source of the wow signal. The alignment is within 9 degrees, which sounds like a lot, but in the vastness of the sky, it's an incredible coincidence. The odds of this happening by random chance are just 0.6%. This raises an unbelievable question. Was the wow signal transmitted by 3i Atlas 47 years ago on its way here? Dr. Loeb is now urging radio observatories around the world to point their dishes at the object and listen. So far, there's been silence. This chain of evidence, the impossible physics, the industrial metals, the connection to a legendary alien signal, is what pushed this from a scientific curiosity into a global security issue. This is why a letter is now sitting at the United Nations. A letter to the world. This isn't just an academic debate anymore. It's a race against time, and Dr. Loeb has taken a step that no mainstream scientist has taken before. He wrote and sent an official letter to the United Nations, urging them to form a new international committee. You see, with new observatories like the Rubin Observatory coming online, we are about to enter a new era where we will find an interstellar object every few months. The most shocking fact is we have no plan for what to do if one of them turns out to be artificial. There is no international organization tasked with analyzing these objects for technology or assessing them as a potential threat. Dr. Loeb's letter is a formal request to prepare for a black swan event, a term used by intelligence agencies for a low probability event with catastrophic consequences. When they happen, you need to be prepared, and the threat from a technological object is very different from a simple asteroid. We have plans for big rocks. We know they follow the laws of gravity. We can predict their paths. But if 3i Atlas is an artificial probe, all bets are off. It wouldn't be bound by the predictable path of a rock. And you can see this everywhere in the data. The timing of its arrival is, to say the least, suspicious. During the month of October, 3i Atlas will make its closest approach to the Sun. This is the point in its journey where it could get the biggest gravitational boost from the Sun, the perfect moment for an object to fire its engines and maneuver to a new course. Here's the terrifying part. For that entire critical month, Earth will be on the opposite side of the Sun from the object. The Sun itself will be directly in our line of sight, completely blinding us to whatever 3i Atlas is doing. We won't be able to see it. Was this intentional? We can't know. But if it emerges from behind the Sun in November on a different trajectory than the one predicted by gravity, Dr. Loeb warns the stock market would crash because it would be undeniable proof that we are dealing with something that is not natural. It would mean we have an intelligently controlled object the size of a city in our solar system, 
and we have no idea what its intentions are. Dr. Loeb compares our situation to ants on a pavement looking up at a passing biker. We would have a hard time understanding the biker, let alone changing its path. We might be in the same situation. This is not about a friendly hello. This is about being prepared for a reality that humanity is simply not ready for. The letter to the UN isn't just a suggestion. It's a plea to the leaders of the world to wake up and look up before it's too late. The most powerful people on the planet now have to consider a scenario they've only ever seen in movies. The letter has been sent, but what will they do with the warning? New era of discovery. So what happens now? The letter is out there, but the universe doesn't wait for committees to form. The science continues, and we are approaching the first major moment of truth. In just a matter of days, on October 3rd, three I Atlas will pass within 29 million kilometers, or about 18 million miles, of Mars. This is a golden opportunity. Several orbiters are circling the red planet, and one of them, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, has a super powerful camera called High Rise. It's capable of taking a high-resolution image with a pixel size of just 30 kilometers. That might sound big, but for an object this far away, it's incredible. The brightest pixels in that image will finally tell us the true size of 3i Atlas. The bigger it is, the more anomalous it becomes. As Dr. Loeb says, there simply isn't enough known material floating between the stars to make a rock of that size and send it our way once a decade. If it's bigger than Manhattan, the natural explanation gets harder and harder to believe. After the Mars flyby, it continues toward the Sun, disappearing behind it for October, before re-emerging in November. Its closest approach to Earth will happen in December, before it heads toward Jupiter in March of 2026, and then, supposedly, leaves our solar system forever, assuming it doesn't maneuver. Of course, there's one more mind-bending possibility that Dr. Avi Loeb and his team are bracing for, a scenario straight out of science fiction. If 3i Atlas is not just a visitor but a technological mothership, a kind of interstellar aircraft carrier, would it send out smaller ships to explore our solar system? Would it release probes to get a closer look at the planets, including ours? To hunt for exactly this, Dr. Loeb has his own high-tech network, the Galileo Project on the highest possible alert. This isn't just a few people with telescopes. It's a dedicated team of top scientists with cutting-edge equipment. They have three major observatories in Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and Nevada, creating a triangle of watchful eyes pointed at the sky. Loeb has given them a critical mission. For months after the object's closest pass, they will intensely monitor the space around Earth for any unusual activity, any small object that wasn't there before. In a cosmic game of chess, they will be watching the Watcher. Now, a lot of people hearing this will feel that this is all happening too quickly, that it seems almost too perfect to be real. Are we getting swept up in the excitement and missing a simple, boring explanation? Is it possible that all of these strange anomalies, the impossible trajectory that brought it here, its shocking size, the shiny nickel composition, its mysterious glow, and that unbelievable link to the wow signal are all just a series of natural random coincidences yes that is absolutely possible science demands that we consider every option but it is also possible that we are witnessing right now the single most important event in the history of humankind unfolding in real time dr loeb believes that such a profound encounter even if it turned out to be a threat could ultimately push humanity to a better place it could force us to put aside our small differences and unite against a great cosmic challenge. An event like this could inspire a whole new generation of explorers and thinkers to look up at the stars, not with fear, but with a powerful, renewed sense of wonder and an unstoppable drive to explore our universe. The incredible beauty of this entire situation is that we do not have to wait decades for the answers. The wait is almost over. The moment of truth is fast approaching. The data is coming in, and soon we will know. The evidence is on the table. Is 3i Atlas a once-in-a-lifetime natural wonder? Or is it humanity's first verified contact with alien technology? Let us know in the comments. Like and subscribe for more updates.